Hey crew, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt with Emerald Isle Seafoods. Today we'll be watching footage from our 2018 halibut longline season. And I'll show you the process we go through to catch them. So let's get to it. This is St. Paul Harbor, one of our two harbors. The other being St. Herman Harbor in Dog Bay. And on the other side of the breakwater is the rest of the waterfront. We're leaving through the main channel of Kodiak. That's one of our state ferries, the MV Testamina. The fuel dock and the transient float. And there's Fuller's Boatyard. So we start off by baiting our hooks. We have around a thousand hooks and this takes around two hours to get them knocked out. We'll usually bait on the way out to the fishing grounds and sometimes the evening before. Now I start setting out gear. I already set out 75 fathoms of buoy line. There's a buoy on the end, you can see it dragging in the background, and I tie an anchor on. As it sinks to the bottom, I start snapping hooks on. I bungled around with the snap, sometimes I get hung up. Each set is approximately a mile long. We usually do three to five sets a day, and it takes us a couple hours to set it all out. Both ends of the long line get a buoy and anchor. We have quite a smorgasbord of bait squid, salmon, cod, octopus, pollock. The halibut aren't picky, but we like to give them options. Mom and Tristan are baiting up while I'm setting. By the time I finish setting, they usually have another set baited up, ready to go. The line you see trailing on the side of the boat is our bird deterrence device. It stops seagulls from going after our bait. So now we start hauling our set. There was a drift snarl to clear up. Snarls happen when the tides are big, or sometimes it can mean there's a big fish on the end of the loop. Like that one. Nice fish. Dad pulls them off to the side bin to keep Mom and Tristan from getting smacked. And then I'll toss the octopus down to use his bait later. I take the fish and bleed them by cutting their gills. And then I'll flip them white side up. Try to. I do this so the blood doesn't settle on the white side. It's less noticeable on the dark side. There's another drift snarl. You can see it has a nice fish there on the loop. When they get to pulling down there, they'll pull any extra slack and tangle up the hooks. This was a real nice fish. I think it's 59 inches. Around 100 pounds in round weight. Our deck gear is pretty simple. As you can see on our hydraulic reel, we have a chain driven level wind. It keeps the line spooling evenly 
without the line would mound up and cause backlashes when we're setting it out. You can see me laying fish flat on the surface in the corner. That's our measuring table. I have a mark at 32 inches, which is the minimum length of how that we can retain. The ones that don't make the cut are shaken off in a sort of twisting motion using the gap hook. And then they swim back down to grow up some more. Dad has a throttling jog stick in his corner. Since we haul from the stern, sometimes we need to reverse to get up on the gear. When the tension is high on the line, the snaps will pop off at the roller. And it's just harder on the gear and ourselves. Depending on if we decide to set back, Mom and Tristan will either pin hooks into tubs or rebate. It mostly just depends on whether or not we're going to fish again the next day, or if we call out our quota. At this point, we're done hauling the sad. Dad finishes reeling in the buoy line, while the rest of us situate the deck to get ready for cleaning halibut. So a little gore warning here. If you have an aversion to blood and guts, better look away. So now we're cleaning the fish. It's a pretty smooth process. Just kind of cut the gill plate free, cut around the collar bones, and slice a membrane in there so Tristan can easily scrape the bloodline out. Afterwards, I measure them all so we can cut the total poundage. Five nine. Thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-nine, thirty-five, forty-one, thirty-six. I push the fish into the slush ice making sure they all have good coverage. Later I'll throw some top ice on them.
Let me clean up the deck and get ready to haul the next set. Wrapping it up, we're getting off of that processor. After we finish the offload, we go and clean up the boat, get fuel, get all ready for the next trip. Here they bring the fish inside for weighing, cleaning, and whatever other process they have in store for them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments and hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then join the crew and subscribe. See you guys next time.